Hey folks, this is Saurav here from Take Care and welcome back to our channel. Well, today I have something new for you. Uh, today I will be, you know, we are currently using the MIUI. So we will be trying to do something that we can change the total look into the Zen UI. Well, I'm on the MIUI Global 8.1 stable and uh, runs on Marshmallow. So yes, and I'm rooted. You must be rooted in order to use this. Uh, and guys, uh, other videos regarding Redmi 3S Prime will be in the description. Make sure to check that. This is the from file, the Zen UI. Man, it will actually transform your whole UI into the Zen UI from Asus. That's a pretty good thing, I believe. I am a basically fan of Zen UI because of their uh, apps that they give and all over the look. Anyways, you need to have a custom uh, recovery like TWRP. My recovery is also TWRP, but it has been modded by TMX team. But you can use your normal TWRP work fine, no issues. So you have to wipe everything like I showed, and uh, now you have to, you know, flash all those zip. The first I will start with is Zen UI. So not take a bit of your time. So you have to wait. And heating is uh, pretty normal in that case. Don't worry. It's taking a bit of your time. And guys, uh, there are other videos regarding Redmi 3S Prime, K6 Power, Redmi 4. All of them are in the description. Make sure to check that. And do subscribe to our channel for more ROM videos related to Redmi 3S Prime. And when the Redmi 4 development arrives, we will do the same. Now, you have to wipe the cache and Dalvik. And then you have to go back. Now, let me tell you that you need the OpenGF's ARM64 6.0 Pico. Well, uh, ARM64 for Marshmallow, Pico, Micro, anything you want as per your as per your choice. But we prefer Pico over anything other. So everything has been done. You can again wipe the cache and Dalvik, or you, if you can easily ignore that. Not a big deal. But you have to reboot the phone. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it's gonna take a bit of your time. So it's saying that Asus A501 CG motherboard. Asus in search of incredible Asus Intel inside well actually it has been a ported ROM so yeah it will show like that but inside of this Redmi 3S Prime there is only Qualcomm Snapdragon 430 and I'm sorry for my voice if it's being too low I'm facing a lot of issues thanks to the cold weather of India and yes fingerprint works pretty pretty fine no issues no issues well the typical Zen UI. Well, I haven't put any SIM inside of this device, but uh, well, do check the description for the Volti compatibility. I will definitely let you know if the Volti works or not in the video down in the description box down below. Still, now guys, uh, overall the touch is pretty good according to me, and the UI looks pretty solid and fluid. Well, here it looks. Well, go to the themes. This is kind of new. It's actually Cyanogen based, so yeah. Zen UI CM12. It's actually a Cyanogen mod ROM, so that's a pretty good thing. I was actually hiding this fact that this is a Cyanogen based ROM. So, yeah, it's a Cyanogen based ROM. Rock runs on Cyanogen 13. You change the UI and you just easily go to the Zen UI. Typically, looks Zen UI. It's a Cyanogen mod version. Zen UI, you can see everything right there, and it is made for Redmi 3S or 3S Prime. The Android version is actually the Marshmallow, so you are updated. No Nougat as of now and please don't ask me when Nougat is coming, when it will arrive. I will definitely make a video for you all. So weather services, we have to add all those things which are not actually in here. Let's check the app management. Well, audio effects is there by Cyanogen mod. Pretty typical and Zen UI launcher is there as well. So this is for those people who prefer Zen UI, not mandatory for everyone. And I'm getting around 2 gigs of RAM free. That's a pretty big achievement. Although I'm using Zen UI. Although I know it's Cyanogen mod, but the skin has been of Zen UI, so there will be a lot of apps. But still, 2 gigs of RAM free on the very first boot is awesome. Live display is there, and there are a lot of color modes, around 9 color modes, color profiles, and which are pretty which is pretty good. Sleep time is there, double tap to sleep is there, prevent accidental wake up is there. So LCD density is also there. Pretty uh standard cyanogen mod things so no issues there i will be checking the volti compatibility soon so make sure you check the description box and let's see the video because a lot of people has asked whether the video works or not so let's check that out and uh if you have any kind of queries regarding this whole rom do let us know via the comment section below so let's click a picture first then we will be looking forward to videos picture 
clicks awesome well videos shooting and i think it's been done that's pretty good uh, let's see whether it plays the video or not or whether it's still a still image so yeah guys this uh rom has doesn't have that issue of uh, freezing the videos it does shoot videos with a uh, pretty good and and there is a pixel master camera so yes guys pretty awesome rom no issues whatsoever but i will be checking that and will make come with a full review so guys do like this video please like if you want but do subscribe to our channel for more videos like this and other videos will be in the description just like i said or in the cards maybe make sure to subscribe to our channel till then bye